In this video, I'll uncover four ways that you can utilize apple cider vinegar to boost intermittent fasting. Over the past year, apple cider vinegar and intermittent fasting have been two of the top strategies that people have implemented in order to improve their health because they're simple to use, it's inexpensive, and it yields great results. Now, both apple cider vinegar and intermittent fasting both have their own unique abilities to help you improve your health, right? I mean, whether it's fat loss, insulin resistance, they really work well. But the thing is, is if we combine them together, we can really skyrocket health improvement. So let's go ahead and talk about the four ways apple cider vinegar boosts intermittent fasting so that you can combine these together and get the full benefit that they offer when they work in synergy. So stick around to the end of this video, but before we get started, I'm Dr. Zorowski and welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, it's a pleasure to have you here. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification, and join our notification community. That way it can help you excel your health and your life. Now, one of the first things that I want to mention here as we jump into this topic is a really, really common question that I get. And that is, does apple cider vinegar break a fast? Okay, because this is an interesting topic in itself. Now, a lot of people are trying to put in all these different, you know, drinks that essentially break your fast. I mean, I have to tell people all the time, like, no, you don't want to have all these certain things well, you're in a fasted state because that is not fasting, right? Because there's this idea that if you drink like something that's keto while well, you're fasted, like a bulletproof coffee, that you're, you're staying in a fasted state. And the truth is, is that you're not. And so apple cider vinegar is actually one of the few things that I use while in a fasted state because it helps you stay in a fasted state. Now, apple cider vinegar, when we look at it, it's got zero calories and it also has zero grams of carbohydrates. Okay, now this is a label straight from the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. It's a great organic apple cider vinegar, great source. It's got the mother in it. It also has the enzymes, the probiotic benefits, very, very beneficial. So zero calories, and zero carbohydrates. Now I also want to mention that when we look at dosage with apple cider vinegar as to what is in the research and what actually works to give you some results, it's always one to two tablespoons. Now, me personally, I like to use two tablespoons, but if you're someone who maybe doesn't like as much all at once, then just stick to the one. Now, like I said at the very beginning, this is one of the very few things that I'll actually allow myself during intermittent fasting because I find that it always continually yields good results, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Matter of fact, when I was putting this video together for you all, basically I was sipping on a cup of ice water with two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in it, and I really enjoyed it. And I will say that when I first started using apple cider vinegar, I didn't care for the taste as much, and it's been a taste that's kind of grown on me, and I actually like it now. And so just like anything, maybe at first it's not the best, but then essentially you start to crave it. So I really like using apple cider vinegar well in a fasted state. And the answer to this is no, it does not break your fast. Now, if you're someone who is just totally against using apple cider vinegar because you can't tolerate the taste of it, then basically we recommend using apple cider vinegar capsules. And I'll put a link in the description below to the one that I really like to use because it has the mother in it, has the enzymes, it has all the benefits that apple cider vinegar has to offer, which most capsules do not. So that's important to understand. Let's talk about one of the first benefits that it has to offer when intermittent fasting. That's going to help suppress your appetite and promote fullness. You know, this is really beneficial because when a lot of people start intermittent fasting, they're doing it for health reasons. Now, a lot of people are experiencing insulin resistance. They're experiencing blood sugar instability. And what happens is when you have those issues going on, and you're trying to intermittent fast, you get really bad cravings, right? I mean, some of these people get such bad cravings that it's hard for them to even tolerate intermittent fasting. Now, for someone who doesn't have these issues, you're like, well, how could that be? But let me tell you, I work with enough people who have these issues to know that cravings become pretty bad for them if they're trying to do just 16 and eight or one meal a day. So apple cider vinegar can work very well in order to help promote that fullness and help them stay in their fast longer. I really like it for that purpose. And that's why adding one to two tablespoons in well in a fasted state really helps. Now, the other reason it's great is because it helps you eat less, okay? There's a lot of people out there trying to lose weight. There's a lot of people trying to cut fat off their body. And what the research has shown is people who use apple cider vinegar tend to consume about 200 to 275 calories less per day. So if let's say weight loss is a thing for you and you're trying to accomplish cutting some belly fat off, then essentially add in some apple cider vinegar and it helps you 
not only feel full well you're intermittent fasting but it also helps you feel a little bit satiated eating less at your meal so you can actually go in and put some apple cider vinegar together and drink it right before your meal it's going to help you go and eat less especially your first meal because some people come into that first meal just really craving food and they overeat then so Apple cider vinegar helps keep those calories down when you're trying to cut some weight. Next year, it's gonna help lower your blood sugar. And this is really important. I know I talk about insulin resistance a lot and all the people who are suffering from it because it really is an epidemic out there. But when we use apple cider vinegar, it's gonna help improve the insulin sensitivity, which is really important because people who have insulin resistance the insulin is not being hurt. It can't shuttle that blood sugar into the cell. There's also an inflammatory problem there. Intermittent fasting helps with the inflammatory problem, but so does apple cider vinegar. And so it's gonna help improve that insulin resistance. And it also is gonna help lower your fasting blood sugar. And this is important. People who have issues with weight loss, people who have issues with insulin resistance, essentially their fasting blood sugar is typically like 105, 110, 115. It's typically up there pretty good. And so if we use apple cider vinegar, it's gonna help bring it down. What the research shows is that if you drink it before going to bed at night, it's going to help lower that blood sugar. So when you wake up in the morning, let's say you take you test your fasting blood sugar, you use a little skin prick test, you get the little meter, it's gonna help drive that blood sugar down lower. And that's important for people who have insulin resistance because driving that blood sugar down is going to help reverse this issue. If you have insulin resistance, if you have blood sugar instability, you almost have to intermittent fast and use apple cider vinegar to get some really good results with it. I recently was working with a patient and they're saying, well, it seems that no matter what I do, I tried keto, I did this, and it just wouldn't work. I could not lose weight. And so essentially, they're about 100 pounds overweight. They're struggling to lose weight. When we ran a blood panel on them, their A1C was through the roof. Their uh, uh, fasting insulin was really high. And here's the thing, is that if your insulin is really high, there's no way that you can lose weight. It's pretty much impossible if blood sugar and insulin are high. So we wanna make sure that when we are using apple cider vinegar to lower our blood sugar that we're using it at night. And if that doesn't work for you, because some people complain that it makes them have to get up and go to the bathroom at night. If that doesn't work for you, taking it right about mid fast, let's say you're doing like 16 and eight, you wake up in the morning, you're not breaking your fast to like noon, then you know if you drink it around nine, 10 o'clock, it's gonna be perfect. So make sure that you use that if you wanna lower your blood sugar. Now it's gonna support fat loss. I was just briefly talking about that, but first thing is gonna help lower that blood sugar level, which is important, okay? Because when blood sugar is high, insulin levels are high. When insulin levels are high, as I just mentioned, you can't lose weight. It just doesn't work because what happens is insulin likes to store fat. And a lot of times when you have blood sugar instability and you have high insulin, you typically are going to be driving cortisol up as well, a stress hormone that also likes to store fat. So, you know, referring back to the patient I was talking about, well, if they can't lower their insulin level and they can't get their blood sugar under control, then essentially they are also gonna have that cortisol problem. They will never lose weight as hard as they're trying. And so that's why when you ever hear me say, if you can't lose weight, it may not be your fault, right? It's because they're trying, but these hormones are so much hormone dysregulation occurring that they simply just can't get the weight to fall off. And so it's very important to utilize it for fat loss as well. Now, I also wanna talk about how it improves your gut health, okay? This is one of the major reasons I like it as well because I have always personally used intermittent fasting to help improve my gut health. I'm very prone to gut inflammation. I've had all kinds of gut issues myself personally. I've had anything from SIBO to leaky gut. I mean, all kinds of stuff going on and it's always been a thing for me over the past 10 years. And so I'm always working to improve my gut health. Now, I like utilizing apple cider vinegar well intermittent fasting because it offers many benefits to your gut. And I also like taking the opportunity to improve gut health well intermittent fasting because you know what, you have basically haven't eaten in a long time, your stomach is in a good place, you're in a good position to help correct things and create balance. And so 
Apple cider vinegar has things like enzymes in it, which is really going to be important for helping you digest your food well. It also is going to have the probiotics in it. And this is why we want to use the good apple cider vinegar that has the mother in it. It has that cloudy web-like structure in it that is going to offer you a lot of benefits. A lot of people think that, oh my goodness, that's gross when they see it for the first time, but it's actually where a lot of the benefits coming from. It also has acetic acid in it. It's very high in acetic acid, which is good and it's gonna help kill pathogens, okay? So you need these enzymes to help you break down food. You also need the probiotics in order to get good bacteria within the gut, which is, you know, when we look at fermented products, fermented drinks, fermented foods, these are some of the best way to get some good probiotics. The acetic acid is gonna help have the proper pH in the stomach and in the small intestines because a lot of people today, due to stress, due to poor eating habits, due to just poor lifestyle in general, have a very alkaline pH within their gut and it causes bacterial issues. It causes something called SIBO, which I had mentioned that I had had not too long ago. And so when you use this acetic acid, it helps improve the acidity within the stomach and within the gut and it's highly beneficial. And like I said, because we are in a fasted state, getting these benefits for your gut are really incredible at this time. Now, the other thing is killing pathogens because a lot of people also are getting pathogenic bacteria within their gut and bacteria that's going from the large intestines to the small intestines and it shouldn't be there. And as a result, it causes, it causes all kinds of gas indigestion, bloating. I mean, does this sound like people that you may know? I mean, a lot of people are facing these issues. And so this is why apple cider vinegar is beneficial, okay? These top four ways are how I like to utilize apple cider vinegar in order to improve my health while intermittent fasting. Put in the comment section below how you use apple cider vinegar while fasting. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and check out this video over here on how to do an apple cider vinegar detox. You're gonna love it. We implement it into our daily routine for about 10 days, all the 30 days or more. And then from there, we just see the benefits that it has to offer.